Well, look, uh, first of all, thank you, Qualtrix, for because you were part of the team that we mobilized to, to, to fix healthcare.gov. The, the problem was not the policy. The, that was an execution problem for those of you who are in your respective fields uh, making the distinction between conception and execution. Poor execution. On, on the website, there was the portal through which people were going to buy health insurance. And um, I, I will say this, uh, that, that was one of my biggest management failures during the presidency. Um, and the irony is every single meeting we had in the year and a half leading up to launching the website. The only question I said to my team that we had to make sure of was that this thing worked. So that if, and, and this has been chronicled by the people, so I'm not saying this after the fact. Literally every meeting I said, partly I think because I'm not, um, I, you know, for a 57 year old man, I'm tech adept, but I'm not an early adapter, tech geek. So I want, my point to them was, if I'm Joe Blow and I want to get health insurance, I've got to be able to get on this thing and understand how to navigate. So I, I, I drummed this into the team over and over again, and somehow, on the day of, it didn't work, and I was really annoyed. I, I, I was really mad. Uh, that's one of the madder times I've been. I, there was some drama there, you know, about it. <laughs> but uh, part of what it taught me was uh, that when you are managing any organization of that size, scope, scale, that even if you are focused on the right thing, if you haven't dug deep enough into the weeds to get a sense of um, potential system failures that could occur and anticipate those early enough. Uh, even with people who are well-meaning and working around the clock and doing uh, really tough stuff, you can still have a disaster on your hands. And, um, and, and one of the big problems there was that we had a, uh, there was a procurement system that has been set up for all federal government purchases that was designed back in the 30s to buy pencils and boots and uh, steel. And it was a, a, a legitimate progressive reform because it, it created an orderly process, it made it less likely you got shoddy goods or you know, that you gave it to the person who had given some bureaucratic kickback. So it was a good thing to set up these laws. But when it came to buying software, it was a nightmare because essentially you, you have this 400 page spec for what a, this software was supposed to look like. And instead of starting off with what are we trying to do and then iteratively building up a system in a, in a smart way. Um, I, so I learned a lot of lessons from that. Some good came out of it because in the wake of the disaster, we recruited some of the top uh, software folks and, and code writers uh, and, and tech folks, uh, essentially de uh, detailing them from Google or uh, Qualtrics or other places to help figure us figure this thing out and, and get it uh, going. And we then created something called uh, U.S. Digital Services. Woo! That, you know, <laughs> that that essentially allowed top flight engineers and uh, uh, tech folks from the Valley, and, uh, Austin. And, all across the country to come to the uh, come work for the federal government for 
six months, a year, work on a specific problem like how do we make sure that veterans are getting uh, the benefits that they have earned uh, more quickly, how do we make sure that uh, Social Security data is, is protected. And it ended up being uh, a, a wonderful uh, learning experience for the entire government. It's a learning experience I would have preferred not going through. But. The, the, we're, we're all in a business or with an organization and we see 